Hi, it's Jeff Greenberg, and I want to talk to you about best practices for organizing your media. Now, TLDR is outside of our editorial software. If we organize at the beginning, it becomes very easy to back up at the end because we just have to grab a single folder. And that might look something like this. The real world problem is we start maybe organized. Not everybody is. Some people just grab stuff left and right. But when we're in a rush, we will tend to grab elements from our downloads folder, from network drives, from everywhere other than a pre-populated set of folders. And while our tools, whether it's Premiere, Final Cut, Resolve, they all have some features of media management. These media management tools don't account for other elements. And the ones that I really worry about are things like lookup tables, paperwork, licensing, notes. These are all things that don't occur here that I would include in a project template. And that's what the solution is, to have a project template pre-populated that you duplicate at the beginning of your projects and use that as a starting block. So taking a look at this a little bit more in detail, up in zero, and this is all numerically set with nice gaps, meaning you could add more to it. I'm going to provide this template for you if you want to download it right here. I'll provide it at the end as well. But I'd like you to see this idea that I'm going to put my project file here in the project folder. And in the case of something like Premiere, I'll pre-populate it with sequences and bins, including naming tracks on my sequence. In Final Cut, I'll sit back and I'll add a whole bucket of keywords already there. So when I bring in footage, it, I can keyword even faster. I'll target my caches here and my renders here. And this isn't every piece of software. This is just a generic idea. But if I go to bring this back a year later and I have these, everything just comes online right away. I'll take all of my camera files and screen records and put them in the video folder. Any proxies I build will go in here. And the beauty of having my proxies separated out like this is I can sling them to somebody for remote workflows really quickly and easily. I'll bring all of my music, sound effects, and VO records here, as well as any of my still photography that I've shot. If I build any sort of motion graphics projects, that would be Apple Motion, that would be Adobe After Effects. All of my projects will go in here along with any sort of unique media. I'll have lookup tables stored here, and these might be just a copy of the lookup table. It's very frequent that I have them in a bulk folder somewhere else outside of the software, but I'll bring and use one of these in and I'll just take a second and copy the LUT in here. If a year from now I go to remake this project, it means the lookup table is already part of this folder structure. Any stock video, any stock audio going here along with licensing, I'll just print a PDF if it's something out of say Creative Commons or something I use from a given group, I'll have my cue sheets making it easy if I get a copyright strike for me to go and look and say, no, no, this is the licensing I have for this. I'll have every client export here, which are deletable. It makes it perfect for me to say, oh, we exported this on this date for this client for this reason, along with the final versions of everything I do, which today gets to be larger and larger as we do different flavors for different types of social media. And I'm going to keep this no matter what. The exports I might delete at the end, but the final versions I keep. Last, I'm going to have all of my paperwork in a single folder. That's going to be the project agreement. That's going to be notes of what went wrong and rules I broke to make the project work. Because they're all here, I don't have to hunt for these in weird places. It's part of the actual folder project itself. Now, I just don't use these in a vacuum. I duplicate them before every single project I work on. And the beautiful part, there's a third-party tool called Post Haste from Digital Rebellion, and here's the URL. This free tool allows you to have different types of templates for different types of projects. And these are all pre-built from them. This is my specific project here, my specific template. And you'll notice up here, this templates folder allows you to add your own templates to it. When you create a new project, you pick your template and you can fill out different automatically numerically increasing values along with date, who the editor is, and create a project ready to go. So it's part of your toolkit post haste, particularly because it's free.
Here again is the link for my project template. And I'll tell you, you should customize it and put any sort of folders in here that you might find that you need. For example, the last five, 10 years, I've been doing a lot more audio finishing and I have number 25 or number 00 or 03, an audio project folder for when I do my audio finish for my color finish. So these are some tips about best practices for organizing your media. My name again is Jeff Greenberg and I hope you found this valuable. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.